All right, so this is an option, the Marine Glide uh, 110 quart. Um, it's got wheels on it and big industrial wheels so that you can roll it. Uh, it says it's a five day cooler. Um, it's big. Jacob, help me, let me, help me sit it down. Let's open it up. It's got a lot of usable space. The best part is that these handles come out and then you can wheel it like this. So the transportability is real good. And it's a hundred bucks. This is the Yeti. This is a similar size on the outside, but it's 14.3 gallons inside. Uh, Jacob did the math. He says that's about 50 quarts on the inside, which is about half of, it's more than half of what the other one is. Help me get this down. This thing is heavy and you got to use you can't have one person use this. You gotta have two people use it. The inside space, you gotta pull it down and end up. There you go. The inside space is tiny. It does have this dry tray, which is nice. Um, but the inside space is kind of small compared to the other one. I mean, it's really small. The walls are much thicker, but I can't see it lasting. I mean, if the other one's rated for five days, why would we need something to last longer than that? I mean, Plus you need two people, two grown men to handle it. And it's $399. So it's four times as much money. For me personally, I think the other cooler is the way to go.